In this example, we'll take a look at a program that involves the use of the if statement, the if else statement, comparison of strings, and use of logical operators like and and or. So the idea with this program is we're going to have a, um, a civil program that takes um, a user's coffee order, including coffees and bagels. So I've started out with um, a basic class definition and the class is called coffee order and inside of that I have a main method definition. I've already started I've already gotten started by creating some variables, some constant variables that I'll need. Some of them are prices, you can see those are for coffee and bagel prices, small, medium, large are coffee prices and the bagel price is there. And then I have a discount rate variable which I'm going to use for for um, orders that include a large coffee and two bagels. I also have a a variable called keyboard which is a scanner object and I've instantiated that object so I can use that for user input. So I'll get started by creating a few variables that I think I'm going to need. First I'm going to create a string variable, a variable of type string, to store the size of the coffee, either small, medium, or large. Then I'll create a variable to hold the number of bagels. And finally, a variable to hold the total cost or the cost for the coffee. And I'll initialize the coffee price to zero for now and I'll also initialize the number of bagels to zero. Okay, the first step is to get the coffee order from the user and store the cost in the variable called coffee price. So to do that, first I'll prompt the user ask them what size coffee and then I'll read that in into a string. I'll read their response in into a string. So to do that, I'll use the size variable and I'll use the keyboard object, the scanner object, and the next line method. Okay, so I've read that in. Now I just need to determine which one they chose. Did they choose, did they enter large? Did they enter medium? Did they enter small? Depending on which one they did, I want to store the appropriate price into the coffee price variable. So I'll use an if statement to determine which one they entered. Um, the comparisons I need to make are string comparisons because I need to determine whether the size variable contains different strings. And to do that, I know that I have to use equals method or the equals ignore case method. So I'm going to use the equals ignore case method for that. I know that it's a method in the string class, so I can use string objects to invoke those methods. So I'm using the size variable here, and I'm comparing it with the constant string small, or the literal string small. If that's true, then I want to store the small price in the coffee price variable. If it's not true, so in my else, I'll compare with medium. So if they entered medium, I'll store the medium price. Okay, if that's not, if neither of those are the case, then I'll check for large. and store the appropriate price, if that's true. Finally, I'll use just a, uh, an else clause if to, to check to see if any of these conditions were, were if all of these conditions were false. 
If they were all false, then I want to print out an error message to indicate that that was an invalid response. If they didn't enter small, medium, or large, then there's nothing else we can really do. So I'll print out an error message and then have my program exit using the system.exit method. Okay, so I've read in the coffee order. Next I'll get read in the bagel order. Now just for fun, let's just ask the user first whether they'd like any bagels at all or, or, or not. So I'll ask them, I'll prompt them with, would you like any bagels? So this is a yes or no type question, so I need a string response. Um, again, I didn't ha I didn't create a string variable for this up up above, so I'm going to create another string here. I'm actually going to declare another string. I'll call it response, and then I'll use the next line method to read it in. Now, depending on the response I got, if they said yes then I would like to prompt them for the number of bagels. If they said no, I, I'm just going to do nothing. So I need to check to see if they said yes. One way to do this is just to check the first character and to see if the first character is in, in the response is a Y. So I'll do it that way. I'll grab the first character using char at and compare that with the capital Y the char capital Y so I use single quotes here and I'll do the same thing for the lowercase version now I can use the double equals to compare here because I'm comparing character data types I'm not comparing strings okay so if that's true if it's either a capital Y or a lowercase y then I'll prompt the user for the number of bagels. And I'll read that into the num bagels variable. Okay, we've got the bagel order. Now let's compute the total cost. Now I don't have a variable for the total cost, so I, again I'm, I'm going to declare a new variable here called total. So the total is going to be the coffee price that we computed up above plus num bagels times the cost of a bagel. Next, I'm going to determine whether or not they apply, whether or not they qualify for the discount, and that would be the case if the user entered uh, ordered a large coffee and two bagels. So I'll check for that. And again, I need two things to be true, so I'll use the and operation here. So the first thing I'll check for is to see if they entered a large one. So I'll compare the the size. To the word large, and then I'll compare num bagels to a value of 2. If both of those conditions are true, then the total condition is true because I used the AND operator. So if both of those things are true, I'm going to print out a message and then apply the discount to the total that we computed just above. And I'll do that by multiplying total by 1.0 minus the discount rate. And then store that result back in the total variable. Okay, now I'll just display the total cost of the order.
Okay, so I'm done with the writing of the program. I'll go ahead and save it, and we'll go down and compile and test. So I'll run the compile command, then I'll run the Java command to run the program. Now I'll test with values that um, should qualify for the discount. So I'll type large for the size, and I'll try typing with different case to see if the ignore case part worked. And I'll say yes, I would like some bagels, and I'll enter two. And I can see that I did, I did get the message that said I qualify for the discount and the total cost looks correct because I can calculate that by hand and verify that that's correct. I'll run it one more time just to try some of the different options. This time I will type in something other than small, medium, or large. I'll type in my name. And I see I get the error message that I would expect. Let's try small, and this time I'm going to order no bagels, so I'll type no at this prompt and see if I get the right result, and I get 50 cents, which is correct. So there's a few more tests I can do to make sure that I test sort of all the possible paths through all these if statements, and I'll leave that as an exercise for you to do. Thanks very much for listening, and we'll talk to you later.